I had maybe one or two more like shorts I wanted to put out with a couple of like condensed looks from the Met Gala in it. But your girl is tired. I'm tapped out and I feel no particular way. I feel a little sad that I can't do that, but I also don't want to overwhelm with too much either. And I'm, I've only had, I'm on my second drink. In that one, I feel, um, I don't always do hard liquor. So maybe that's what it is. Cause I'm a wine drinker mostly now. Um, and maybe I messed up because I feel like it's very early and I, there's a million things I should be doing. And yet I'm probably not going to do them because I don't feel pulled together enough. That's a good word. It's a good word. Um, yes. Anyone else? Janelle Monet came as a cone, a black and white cone, and then pulled it off to this weird bikini. And I love Janelle Monet. She is gorgeous to me, and she has a great body. And I, you know, and I've she shows it, and I've seen it. Um, her look was ugh. Uh, Paris Hilton wore all black, and I was actually kind of surprised because she's more of a pink and a white pastel kind of girl. She's gorgeous, and you forget that. You don't forget she's gorgeous. She just never pulls off darker colors. And she did for the Met. She has like this black leather skirt and these chunky heels. And it's so unlike anything I've seen her in for pretty probably as long as I can remember. So that kind of caught me off guard. So she really does need a special shout out. Um, Who else? I feel like there was a couple other ones. I didn't like Bad Bunny's look. He had this cut out in the back with the chain and it he is a little bit more like pushes the boundary of androgynous sometimes which is cool um but that chain down the middle reminded me when women wear like low back dresses with like some jewelry like this is a look if it were a ball gown i would definitely wear but on him it made me feel like no no I don't know if I'm a big fan of his. I think I was. I think there's a couple of things that kind of like red flagish when it comes to him with me now. Um, I think I had, who else? I had um, Pedro Pascal. He gives me zaddy vibes. He is definitely one. And he's wearing these like red outfit, this red, like in his shorts. And normally I can't say that I would be a big fan. The shorts by itself as like a regular piece, you see dudes all the time with that. Um, on the red carpet at the Met Gala, I think this was his first time. I liked seeing him there. So I think I just mostly appreciate that. I don't know if I even like his outfit. I think his shorts were short enough to, they were, they were not short enough to be, um, hoochie daddy shorts first of all and they were they were they were not short enough but they were also they were not long enough to be like bermuda shorts they just fit and i liked it and that's the end of that henry oh fuck henry tyree henry tyler tyree henry tyree tyler I don't know. I know his, you know, he's a very talented actor. He was there. He looked great. He and Puffy had kind of a similar look, but let's not compare. They were both great. They both looked great. Um, who else? I really wanted to give a couple more. Annie Hathaway. She gets very special consideration. She looked fucking great. She was probably like a, a favorite i don't want to say a secret favorite she was just a favorite a favorite of the night she understood the assignment and she delivered she gave me austin powers james bond chanel um valentino i got really um um i got i got all of it i got very designer she looked great she's aging while she's taking care of herself she looked great she had bombshell hair it was very 80s 90s she understood the assignment period um anyone else um this year we're losing more and more people at the met i don't know how this event is going to maintain i'm not gonna put it all in the kardashians i'm just saying the quality in which the people are selected has shifted 
And um, I know um, we don't really like Kanye be tripping. I get 100%. However, style-wise, hate it or love it, this man has a vision. We don't see Jay-Z and Beyonce anymore. Ariana Grande's not there. Um, Zendaya hasn't been there. I really was looking forward to Zendaya. I was hoping Law Roach... Her stylist would have been there as a guest and not necessarily in a stylist role because I wanted to see him as himself. Billy Porter isn't there. Lady Gaga isn't there. Blake Lively isn't there. <sighs> Rihanna cannot carry this whole thing. I don't think I saw I don't think I saw Selena Gomez. Anyway. Um, just make me sad. Zoe Kravitz wasn't there. Lenny Kravitz wasn't there. I'm just bummed. I think I'm a little bummed. It was a little dull. It was a little boring. It was, everyone was on theme. It was a lot more structured, which I did appreciate. But it was still, maybe the people we look forward to seeing are not there and so i don't have a lot of people that i tune in for besides rihanna um it was a little disappointing my girl selma hayek was there but she has done better looks i hope we do better next year i think that's mostly what it is Yeah, I guess that's mostly what I wanted to say. I don't have the stamina in me to keep making these videos for the rest of the night. Um, I'm tired. I think um, the social events and the mom and me are like telling my body, take advantage of this time. So, and I'm usually not no punk or no super lightweight or anything, but I'm on my second drink and... Um, I want to take advantage of this night. So I think I'm going to tap out. Um, I'm going to tap out. I'm going to watch some Sex and the City. I might make one more drink. Call that one my nightcap. Um, sleep in the nude and enjoy my party for one. Wherever that takes me. And I meant what I meant. And I said what I said. And. I'll let you do what you will with that information. <laughs> I'm a mess. Um, but that's also probably confirmation that I should tap out because I can't keep going down this way because it's going to get really weird. And um, I'm all for it, but I just don't think it would be appropriate for the internet. And um, and I'm enjoying myself on the internet and I, I just really don't want to get kicked off. So it's mostly that. And... Um, I think there's that. Enjoy your Tuesday. I think the longer this goes on too, you're going to start seeing the drunkenness in my face. You know, the tiredness is going to catch up and the alcohol is going to catch up. And then all of a sudden it's just going to like, you. and then I'm not going to recognize myself. Oh, random. And then I really am. Y'all, I'm going. Billy Eilish was there. W William Eilish. Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish. It's a joke. SNL. Um, Billy Eilish was there. She looked very dark and very pale at the same time. Billy Eilish's look for the Met Gala this year kind of reminded me. I feel like Billy could be the real life corpse bride. Not necessarily death. I'm not saying death on anyone. But how white her skin is, how pale she is. But her eyes are very striking. And the dark features. She's she's a busty woman. She's a woman now. She's not a girl. And um, she gives me, she kind of gives me that vibe. I think she could pull it off. And I mean, it's a dark movie if you've ever seen it. But I really did enjoy The Corpse Bride. So she gives me that vibe. Um, it was like a gothic catholic funeral wedding looking at her i really anyone else 
I don't know who Emma Chamberlain is, but people keep talking about her. Um, she was wearing this blue Chanel outfit. Um, apparently she looked great. Yay. Um, I didn't see Trevor Noah. I wanted to see Trevor Noah. Um, I didn't like Lala Anthony's outfit. I just didn't care for it at all. I feel like that's the kind of dress I would wear any other time. Anytime. Anytime. It didn't feel very met. Oh, and shout out to my girl, um, Chloe Simon or Feynman from SNL. She does great impersonations. I'm looking forward to what she comes up with based off of this experience because she helped host um, for Vogue. She was a Vogue hostess. So she did a lot of interviews and things like that. Um, our EGOT... Um, Annalise Keating, the name. Oh, it's escaping me. If you know, you know. Annalise Keating, how to get away with murder. How to get away with murder. She played Michael Jordan's mom in Air. It's really bothering me. She has a cute little pink look on. I don't think it was on brand, but she looked great. And I think she was just happy to be there. So, welcome. Club. Welcome to the club. Um, I'm going to take my... Y'all, I'm going to take my drunk ass out. I got to get out of here. It's not going to get better. I, I don't want it to get worse. And I don't want y'all to see that. So I'm already got sex in the city on. It's on pause. I'm tired. The lighting is completely different. My face is going to change. Um, and that's what it is. Happy Met Gala. Happy Tuesday, May 2nd. Um... Happy, happy, happy. And good night. Am I done talking crap? Good night, good night, good night. Ooh, don't do it. I didn't like Nicole Kidman's look, and I didn't like Giselle's either. <laughs>